Prince William shook of the traditional royal image of a stiff upper lip today showcasing a range of emotions as he watched England take on Denmark in the Euros. The Prince of Wales, 41, looked delighted as Captain Harry Kane scored the first goal in Frankfurt, before looking nervous when Denmark equalised and tense until the final whistle was blown. He was joined by his distant cousin King Frederick of Denmark and his daughter Princess Josephine, 13, for the game. Despite the draw placing England top of the group, millions of England fans have been left disappointed at the lackluster performance. And William, a keen football fan and president of the FA, was no exception sitting on the edge of his seat throughout the nerve-wracking game. The England squad did not exactly reign supreme, but, after seeing at close quarters the graft, if not the guile, shown by the players against Denmark last night, the Prince of Wales was reportedly keen to pass on some words of appreciation. Immediately after the final whistle he visited the dressing room to pass on his encouragement. He began stoic to sing the national anthem, before jumping up in celebration as Harry Kane put England ahead. At one point, the future king put his head in his hands, seemingly in dismay at the three lions sloppy defending. Despite rooting for England, William remained statesmanlike as he joined Princess Josephine and King Frederick of Denmark. She later stood between William and her father as the three royals posed for a photograph that was posted on the Prince and Princess of Wales X, formerly Twitter, account just before the match began. The photograph was captioned, May the best team win and illustrated with the flag of Denmark, the flag of England and a football. England's battle against Denmark ended in a 1-1 -to -1 stalemate after the three Lions failed to roar in their second Euros clash tonight, as Prince William, an army of wags and millions more back home cheered on Gareth Southgate's men in vain. The teams had got off to the perfect start when England captain Harry Kane fired home after 18 minutes, but his strike was cancelled out by Danish midfielder Morden Jolman's thunderbolt 10 minutes before half-time. England's star-studded squad, who beat Serbia in a nervy 1-0 win on Sunday, have the support of their wags and the nation, as the tournament favourites attempt to go one step further than Euro 2020, when they lost to Italy in the final at Wembley. But the dejected travelling support booed the squad at full-time after a lacklustre performance in Frankfurt. The Royal jumped off his seat and passionately celebrated when Kane opened the scoring with a close-range strike after Kyle Walker had stormed down the right wing and pulled the ball back. The Frankfurt arena erupted as Kane, who now plays his club football in Germany for Bayern Munich, wheeled away in celebration, while pints were launched into the air in fan zones and pubs across England. But the celebrations were short-lived as Jolman silenced England's vocal fan base when he powered home with a sensational strike from outside the box, leaving goalkeeper Jordan Pickford helpless as the ball cannoned in off the post.
England fans thought they were back in front as Phil Foden struck the post in a rare positive moment with his own long-range strike 10 minutes into the second half. But amid another disappointing performance, Southgate rolled the dice with just over 20 minutes to go, bringing Jared Bowen, Ollie Watkins and Abarechi Ease on for Foden, Saka and even Kane. And it nearly paid off, as Bellingham put Watkins in behind immediately but his effort was saved by Kasper Schmeichel. Pickford was then called into action by Pierre-Emile Hojberg as tension grew in the final stages. With five minutes to go, Denmark almost snatched all three points with a curling effort from Hojberg again, but it went narrowly wide. The game ended 1-1, leaving England top of Group C with four points from two games, with one game to go against Slovenia on Tuesday. Before kick-off, the Prince of Wales joined England's players and fans in singing the national anthem, and gave a thumbs up in an indication that he was feeling positive about tonight's game. William was spotted deep in conversation with Denmark King Frederick X as the Royals joined tens of thousands of fans at the Frankfurt Arena, with millions more watching at home. In the UK, fans got on the booze early at hundreds of pubs, bars and fan zones, with many having worked from home or even taking the, the day off to watch the match as it kicked off at 5pm on BBC One.